should probably replace the fuel pump with all the noise, but yeah. Yeah, we got some disc brake action. Oh, we got more disc brake. That's the master cylinder. Oh, boy. Red calipers, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh. Dang. Little shop MFG lines, red calipers with the e brake, the brackets, clipper hose retainers hardware another bracket and we also got the master cylinder upgrade the ck1500 get rid of that old stuff and then i got smooth rotors so right here so it's pretty loud in the shop, but I'm just kind of showing. This is really just step one, take everything apart. Just all your drum stuff, just dump it and throw it in the trash. Then here, you use a angle grinder, die grinder, whatever grinder you want to call, and really just cut through it. This metal is pretty uh, pretty thick, but it's pretty easy to cut through. You can kind of get it through easy if you, if you know what you're doing. And then, of course, answer the 20 Oh, camera just drops out of focus, but you can still see what I'm doing. And then of course you got to answer the 30,000 questions that people are going to come up and ask you about. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, well, you should have done this. Hey, you should have done that. Okay, whatever. doesn't matter. But yeah, you can get it off. And then you can go and proceed on to the next step, which is installation. Oh my God, I had a stroke. Shut up. <laughs> all right, so now that that's all off, I got this thing. Oh my God, I'm so dirty right now. I'm gonna put the bracket on. This brake line is just chilling. All that is in the trash. And I'm gonna try and do another time lapse. It's pretty loud in the shop, so right now it's kind of quiet, but uh, I'll do a little time lapse, kind of talk over it and kind of explain how all this goes together. It's super, super easy. And then that's it for this. So now the caliper can go on. Before I put the caliper on, we're gonna set the rotor in. Oh yeah, put that fucking nut on. Oh, whoa, sorry, wrong, ch wrong channel. Wrong channel. Oh God, the chaos. Every time I work on a car. This is the finished product. And you can see here. Oh. Bracket for the line. Gets rerouted over here. This new bracket here holds the caliper. I still have to do some parking brake adjustments, but that's all fine and dandy. But this is all straightforward, literal bolt-in stuff. And I got brake fluid dripping right there. I mean, I mean that's good. I mean, the brake fluid's going somewhere. So I'll continue and put the other side together. The only thing you gotta do is right here. It is pretty close to touching. But it tells you in the instructions, you may or may not have to shave it. So I got it. Let's see if you can see it right here. It's not touching the rotor, but we're pretty close. But we're all good for right now. So before we get this on, what we need to do is, I already went through this on the other side, is this part of the pad right here. Oh my God, my camera doesn't want to focus. This part of the pad right here, 
needs to be shaved down. I'm gonna pretty much take this part all the way down to where the pad material is. So you can see here, see how we got a, how it's elevated right here. This part will contact the hub surface of the rotor. So I got a little Dremel right here and I'm just gonna knock it down. Boy, we got a two door on, some, on, on this all the way around, son? Hey bro, I ain't like Justin for streetcar takeover. I'm trying to get there though. So this is in, these are all in, and you can see what I'm talking about right here. It is super close, but we clearanced it, so we're not gonna touch. If the it'll probably warm up a little bit, but we're not gonna get no contact. So that's all good. We got banjo bolt right here. So this banjo bolt is actually gonna have a new line it's gonna go underneath plug up in here and then we're gonna fight with this guy for a few minutes to get him into there and then that is it Hi. Oh. See Oh, get all those fucking air bubbles out. Bench, believe this shit. Mm -hmm. oh, that, I was about to spill it. <laughs> I was about to spill that shit. Uh, okay. Uh. Boy, this shit nasty. Focus, you, you piece of shit. Bro. There we go. Oh, we got freaking sludge and oil and all kind all right anyways i'm gonna change out this whole shebang to that shebang uh, it says you gotta do some line readjustments so hopefully i don't have to freaking mess with and lose a bunch of my fluid while doing this so i'm gonna give it a go yeah look at that let me turn this boom got an adapter for the front had to move these lines over just actually a lot like six inches i got a pressure adapter for it and i'm gonna go ahead and bleed i already bench bleed it you already saw that so i'm gonna bench bleed it i actually forgot to tighten the lines in the back of the caliper because i was gonna <laughs> just see if i needed to readjust them and then found out they were loose <laughs> so we got yeah. a monkey box and then uh yeah so dude i'm freaking bleeding i got freaking disc brakes dude Huh! Oh, finally! Freaking end of the day, no one's bothering me now. Now I can freaking finally focus on it. Whoo, boy! I bent my roll cart. I bent it. I lowered the Tahoe on it. So, to bleed it, this is what it asks you to do. My uh, One of my buddies, he had a problem on his OBS bleeding the hell out of it. He had a trouble getting a lot of the air out. And he did calipers, lines, and all that. So, what they recommended, what little shop recommends is for you to put the bleeder at 12 on this parking brake caliper put the bleeder at 12 o'clock uh the only thing i can think of is, is having the bleeder as the highest point to get all the air out of it and you'll see why because normally you're sitting here at a 45 degree angle on that bleeder yo can this thing focus i'm about to trade you in dog so we got 45 degree angle if you're looking at it from this way. So we're gonna move up to 12. You don't take the brackets off, the, the bolt caliper caliper bolts. You take these bolts out that you just put in and you can just rotate the whole assembly up, which is what I did right here. So, boom, that's how you do that. A little tedious, but we can come in here and we can, I'll clean all this up and make sure it's all fine, but. We got no touching, no rub marks. No, I just bled this side. I'm gonna do the other side. And I had brake fluid everywhere because the freaking thing exploded. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. And hopefully this thing can freaking drive when first first go around. All right, I'm about to show you a secret. What I just learned right here is see if I could do this in time. This one's done. So as you can see, you can hear it. So you see how we get it? constant stream coming out constant stream 
And this is a vacuum. There's a vacuum on the line that I'm using too. Solid. So that one's good. On to the next one. All right. We're we're in the freaking air right now. Let's do this. Let's see what the pedal feel like. Oof. Oh, that pedal. That pedal swallowed. Let's put this thing in freaking four high. It's gonna take a second. It has like a weird thermostatic front. Act. Oh, never mind. We're good. We gotta wait till it stops bleaking. Put it in dry. We going? Ah. Oof. Stopping on a dime now. We smoking a little bit up in, in the engine bay, but it's all good. Wow, well, don't pay attention to that, to that noise. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. I'm gonna get the parking brake cables in later because it was a little bit of a pain right now, especially with the freaking reservoir exploding on me because this thing wanted to go to 30 pounds. All right, so we're just not gonna pay attention to that. It's coming out from where the fitting goes into the adapter, so it, I don't know. It could be a bad fitting on my end, but let's go take it for a drive. Only a drip drip. Carry some brake fluid with me, should be good. I'm gonna try a different fitting. The freaking luck all the time. We'll see if they got it. We freaking look at um, look at my hands soaked in brake fluid and brake clean. We got it. Let's see if the male fitting does a leak on this one. Who's ain't gonna help you? Who's not gonna help you?